Our predictions for the 2023 Belgian Grand Prix. Let's get into our predictions now then, shall we? Beginning with biggest good surprise. Come on, Tommy. My biggest good surprise, I have gone for Logan Sargent. Logie Bear, biggest good surprise. Look, you know what I'm doing here. Williams, it should be good for Williams, but maybe first points on the board for Logie Bear. feel like uh, it'd be a good track for Williams and uh, hope he delivers. Oh, that's, that's really interesting because my biggest good surprise is Alex Albon. And I think he's going to have one of those one of those races that we've come accustomed to when he has a, a banger in a Williams, which of course isn't winning or getting a podium, but it's some solid points. It's the Alex Albon train. Spa is absolutely the track for an Alex Albon train, if I've ever seen it. That Williams very quick in a straight line. Yeah, I think that it's going to be a good weekend for Williams. Okay, we now move to biggest flop. I have gone for Haas. Right, so obviously, in the recent run of the last few races, actually, Nico Hülkenberg, Q3, feeling good, potential hope. I don't think they're getting a sniff in qualifying or the race uh, this weekend. I just, I just don't see it. They've got a Ferrari power unit in the back of that car. It's not known to be great at, at high-speed tracks. So that's my, that's my thinking, is that... Nico doesn't get a sniff of Q3 at the absolute least. So you're basically going to bank on a flop if Hulkenberg doesn't make Q3, because Magnussen's been terrible anyway. Absolutely. Okay, biggest flop I've gone for. Lewis Hamilton. Right. Just don't think he's going to have a good weekend. You know where you just feel the vibes? Yeah. He's going to win now, isn't he? Maybe. Well, Lando had an absolute banger last time when I predicted him biggest flop. So maybe, actually, Team LA should be thanking me when he wins the race by 40 laps. I, d I just, I don't know, maybe Mercedes will be a bit a bit washed and Hamilton have a bit of a mare. Okay, interesting stuff. Uh, we now go to pole position. Okay, here we go. Strap ourselves in. Let's get our seatbelts. Click them in. Lando Norris, pole position. I think McLaren are going to be lit around Spa this weekend. Max was already hyping them up in that post-race com uh, press conference after Hungary, saying about, you know, you need to watch them through poo on and stuff like that. Spa is all about those medium to high speed corners, really. And that's what McLaren are very good at. Yeah, we got a few slow in there, but of course it's a track. Is There's going to be a few slow. But Spa is a pretty quick track. I actually think McLaren, over one lap, in the hands of Lando Norris, is going to get pole position. This isn't meme-worthy either. I genuinely believe McLaren will have the upper hand at Spa. Interesting. Pole position. I have also gone for Lando what? Norris. What are we cooking? Yeah, what are we cooking? We're cooking a Lando out in Q1 at this rate. But no, look, I was going to go for Max again, but we saw what happened in Hungary. They set up for the race. You could argue that they could set up even more for a race like Spa because... You've got that big old long DRS straight. So I don't feel like Red Bull will set up for it. Lando's obviously been really good in qualifying and it's going to suit him well, I think. Mm, wow. Look at us go, hey? We then go to Sprint Shootout. Of course, there are two qualifying sessions. And I have gone for Lando Norris. I think that it's going to be a double pole. I know I'm channeling some very dangerous energy right now because last time I predicted Max Verstappen pole for an easy point, he didn't get poles, so really, for the universe's sake, I should be going for Max Verstappen. However, I need points. I need to back the fact that potentially I'm not on a jinxing spree right now, and I can actually secure some double points because I feel like you're ahead now, Tommy, after all of your BS that you've been doing over the last few rounds, which is disgusting, by the way. I am. I'm one point I, clear. I will never forgive you. One point. Is that it? You've been locking in points for days with Max Verstappen, so yes. Come on, Lando. For sprint shootouts, I have gone for Max Verstappen. Yeah, just feel like maybe there's a difference between the two sessions. I'm trying to think, uh, what, what was the last sprint, Austria? Did we have the same in both sessions? Was it Max in both? That Paul, I can't remember, because I know Charles did both pretty in sure. Baku, and I'm pretty sure Max did both. So maybe it's time that we get a difference between the two quali sessions, because you never know. A two-minute shorter Q3 will make all the difference. Maybe. Maybe. But then again, they always have limited amount of tyres, so it's not like they do a massive amount of running. Okay. I need the hard, medium, soft qualifying now. Like, 
can that be forever? Like, when's the next one? And yeah, I don't it needs know. To be, it needs to be implemented immediately. We now go to sprint winner. Go for Max Verstappen. Max has to do something in one of these segments. He can't not win something. So sprint winner, Max Verstappen. I love the way that even needs to be a because when he's won every race pretty much this year. Sprint winner, I've also gone for Max Verstappen. Went bet against him. I do think McLaren are going to be good, but they're going to be mighty, mighty down that uh, straight, I think, with Red Bull's DRS. So even if we do maybe see a cheeky Lando pole or Lando uh, fastest in sprint shootout, it's going to be a struggle, I think, uh, with Red Bull and their mighty DRS down that huge straight. I've just had a look whilst you were chatting at the weather forecast. Don't tell me rain Saturday again. Uh, good chance of rain for Friday and Saturday, <laughs> but likely to be dry on Sunday. Is that every Tuesday weather forecast? Yeah, it feels that way. But yeah. obviously, one thing I will say, Spa has its own mini climate. I mean, it's sure likely does. to rain anyway. I mean, even if it says it's bone dry, there could easily be something that comes in. Um, but interesting. Uh, we might have to change everything to do with the sprint and <laughs> and qualify. <laughs> <laughs> hey ho, we've locked in now. Let's now go to our top three. In third place, Oscar Piastri. It's podium time for Oscar. Come on. Interesting. Uh, because P3, I have also gone for Oscar Piastri. Stop copying me. You copied me. It's a different sheet. I didn't know your <laughs> prediction. If McLaren are as good as I'm hyping them up to be, fingers crossed, sorry McLaren fans in advance, then Piastri is not that far off. And as well, I suppose, with it being Spa, it's cooler conditions, probably not as tyre heavy as a track as, as, say, Hungary, which is what obviously played against him. Uh, in Budapest. So yeah, I don't think it'll be as tyre limited and it, it could be quite a good weekend for Oscar. Nice, I agree. Second place, Lando Norris. I wonder where this is going. <laughs> yeah, Lando P2, he, he locks out pole in both. We're like, what can he do from P1? Nothing. He can finish P2 because he's racing against a particular person that will be a lot quicker in a car that's quite a bit better. Come on, Logie. Right, P2. I have gone for Sergio Perez. Red Bull still going to be obviously very quick, uh, and I'm locking in Perez to, yeah, he's slowly making his way up the order. <laughs> he's had P3 last time, P2 this time. Okay, interesting, because I still think that Perez is going to have a washed qualifying. I feel like he's lost confidence in that qualifying segment, and well, you know, you got two qualifying, so maybe you can... Well, no, but the main one comes first. I think he might be good in the sprint like he was in Austria, mm. but then he was pretty washed in the Friday qualifying, wasn't he? So, um, interesting stuff. P1, Max Verstappen. Whoa. Please justify your reason why you think okay. the guy that's won the last I seven races will Max win Verstappen again. Max <laughs> Verstappen will win the race because he's a really good driver in a really good car, and the combination is too good for anyone else to take on. And let's not forget, Max won from where on the grid last year? Was it 14th or something? Uh, last 14th, year? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he started 14th and he was in the lead by lap 20 or something. Absolutely he, outrageous. Uh, yeah, he got into like third, didn't he, by about lap nine or something stupid yeah. and then won quite really easily in the end. But yeah, what a man. So for... P1, I have gone for Lando Norris. It's time. It's time for someone different. Red Bull have broken the record now. And, and Max just we're gonna, turn up. We're, yeah, <laughs> Max has a problem or something. Lando Norris gets his first win. And then we've been, like you said, saying that it's the most boring season ever. And then we, we finally get someone else different winning. And then we go into a summer break and we're like, no, why? No, we're on a big we high. need more races. And then yeah. Max Verstappen comes back and wins the next eight. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, I think McLaren what, what are, are going to be... What are you sensing right now? Is it a DNF? Is it? Is this what's happening here? Yeah, maybe a, a DNF or some, some contact. That's a bit of a, a problem. And Contact with who? Perez? Hmm? Maybe. Maybe maybe him and Logie Sarge going down to turn one. For God's sake. <laughs> Look, getting there. Lando. Lando win. 
Okay, wow. Here we go then. Uh, and one crazy prediction. I'm going for Alex Albon points. <laughs> Is that crazy? Yeah. Yeah. Because it's such a huge surprise if Williams do well, my prediction is also about Alex Albon. <laughs> and it's that he's actually going to get a top five in one of the qualifying sessions. It, wait, hold bold. on. In not, one not, of not, like a, not like a Q1, Q2, but I like thought, either, uh, either, okay. he's either finishing top five in the sprint shootout or qualifying. Okay, that's good. I like that a lot. Well done. Thank you. And I've said points. So if Alex Albon scores one point, I don't get a point. Because I've, yeah. I've done plural okay, there. Fair. Yeah, okay, fair. Yeah. Okay. So because he might score one over the sprint and then one in the main, that counts as two. Oh, therefore, thank you. I appreciate your honesty there. Yeah, no, no. I thought I would be like, there's so many loopholes here. Let's let's have a bit of honesty here. And then finally, three crazy predictions from you, wonderful lot, uh, which we're doing every single race now. So please, sure, be sure to reply to the graphic uh, which we post on our Twitter or Instagram, Matt P1 Tommy. Uh, first one comes in from same usual god, Charles and Carlos, to both be on the podium at least once each from the sprint and race. I'm wearing a Ferrari top, <laughs> but I don't see that happening. We've not been; they've not even been mentioned the whole the whole time. And I just think that if I stop Leclerc's. mentioning them, maybe this is this is how they slowly start to rebuild. I mean, Charles done well, hasn't he, in, in the, the sprint weekends? But like you say, you want to stay silent and because it's the hope that kills you. I don't have any hope left. I think a lot of people <laughs> saw that last <laughs> that last TikTok of uh, of you absolutely <laughs> squealing with laughter uh, with Charles with his nine point four second pit stop and his five second penalty at Jeff two zero four nine one two three two. Only the top five finish on the lead lap. Christ, uh, that's quite bold no. for Spa when it's a long, yeah. long old lap. Yeah, that would that would take like no, I don't I don't think Red Bull are that clear. Leggy well, side's gonna have to have the best race of his life if that happens. <laughs> God's sake, Tommy, leave him I'm alone. I'm channeling it. He's going to win. Um, finally, from at Nurelifas, <sighs> Red Bull double DNF. God, if that happens, I mean, look, we don't even need a double DNF. We just need Verstappen to DNF. Perez is not going to win by 30 seconds. He's going to give us a great race. So let's leave Sergio alone. He's had a, a torrid time as it is for the last however many races. Let's, let's throw him in the mix. We've got the greatest race of all time. Interesting. I feel like people are hoping rather than genuinely believing these predictions will come true. Thank you, everybody, for watching and listening, as always. Uh, we look forward to, hopefully, uh, an exciting Belgian Grand Prix. We'll be live on Twitch, as always, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday this weekend. Because, of course, we've got the sprint. Do not forget, and we'll see you there. Bye! Bye!